So yeah, Matt, at the end of our podcast, usually we have a Kodakata message, which can be anything, and he gave one last time. But since then, we have people gave like funny Japanese phrases, like words they learn, or just like words of wisdom. So yeah, putting you on the spot now, what is your、mm. Kodakata message to our listeners? Oh, that, that's hard. Yeah, you did like put me on the spot there. Let me see. He's like some Kansai Ben. <laughs> well,、uh, well, I'd say because we 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 spent a lot of time, you know, talking like about my girlfriend. So I would say,、yeah. don't like, don't try to make a significant other who speaks your target language because, like, in general, like, like trying to get a, a boyfriend, trying to get a girlfriend, like, never goes well, and it has an extra level of creepiness if you're trying to like get a. You know, a significant other who like meets these like weird requirements of like you know they're a native speaker of like your language or something, but you know work on yourself. Try to just like be a the best person that you can be, and probably maybe it will just happen naturally one day. Because if, if you're practicing your target language, then you'll probably be in a situation where other there's native speakers and stuff like that, and、uh, let it let it happen naturally.